Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Fort Scott High School Valorant Blue week number two of preseason as we get ready to get started here against the Heritage Hall Chargers. Current starting roster for today involves the junior, that's Aiden Sigafus, Donovan B, he is a senior here, Timothy, Wayne, and Jinx. This is generally the same roster from last week with the addition of of jinx we had to sub out him as andrew brown is sick out today our party should be getting started here pretty quickly as we get ready to play our round number one game keep in mind this is a best of 13 game um not like the normal valorant games where it's best of 13 three times in a row it's actually just best of 13 one time around Looks like the first map we will be taking over today is Pearl. Pearl is generally a pretty good map choice when it comes for our Halo Blue team. Red has a bit of a different priority as they enjoy some of the more widespread maps, but typically for Blue, if they can get it, we choose Pearl. Server today is US Central. That's over there in Illinois. Generally, our ping is a little better on that server. Um, we have had some problems before with Central and sometimes have to move to East. However, that should not affect your quality of the stream. So we are about ready here as we roll to get started. Welcome to Pearl. 66 seconds left before we get started here. Once again, the gamer names you'll see today in game is Donnie Boy, that's Donovan Bernard. Cerno Fumo, that is. I don't exactly remember. Aiden is Slayer, Deku is Timothy, and Jonathan is Jinx. Choose your agent. As the timer winds down to zero, we shall get started with the Pearl map. If you want to check it out on the left side, you can see the Fort Scott Tigers. We will be taking the defending side first it will change after just 11 rounds b side a side that's generally where your players are going to get started from but keep in mind the objective of this game is to have a spike planted and then you will defend the spike and make sure the other team is not going to get it As we get started here, we'll hop on board with Timothy Brown as he holds his point on the A side. Immediately 
Fort Scott Tigers taken out by Seb. We'll hop on board with Donovan Bernard. He is a senior here at Fort Scott. Nice headshot. Against charge there. Donovan Bernard, once again, another headshot in a close range battle there. He forgets that there is still a corner there and does get taken out by Coral. 1v1 situation here for Aiden Sigafoos as he takes down Seb. Aiden Sigafoos continues to look around. Ensuring that he isn't going to get snuck up on, and he does. Big Coral comes around the corner and ensures that that spike is going to go ahead and blow up, just like you saw there on the screen. As we head into the next waiting lobby, your Tigers are down one against the Heritage Chargers. And your Tigers will get started with round number two. That is Boo, who takes out Jinx right off of the start. Currently on board with Timothy Brown. As he runs right into a little group of Heritage Chargers. And we'll hop on board with Aiden Sigafoos. See if Aiden can pull a bit of a clutch here for us. Aiden gets baited over by Seb with his dog thing. <laughs> so Bruno gets immediately taken out by Good Coral. Ladies and gentlemen, I will be switching over here to Mrs. Lexi, who's going to try out her first time at commentating. She's probably going to be better at me than Valorant, so don't make fun of me too much, but here's Lexi. Hello, folks. I am Lexi, and I will be watching, uh, commentating from now on. Uh, Jinx puts down a smoke, and uh, it looks like Donnie Boy is pushing in and hiding behind that smoke, but they know that he's there. Uh, the KO puts down his... Uh, uh, orb and it looks like the enemy team is rotating uh, but uh, Donny boy is the last one left and he's able to get that Viper right off the bat uh, but the other team is pushing you can hear their footsteps uh, you can hear the KJ swarm uh, they're coming from right there and a big foil takes out Donny boy <laughs> Now we are into our next buy phase. Buy, buy phase. Uh, the current score is zero to three, but they can still easily take this back. There are still at least ten more rounds left uh, for the enemy team to be able to pull off that win. Uh, so it looks like we have uh, Neon, aka Cerno Forno, which I am pretty sure is from Wayne, is playing A. We have Phoenix still in their spawn. We have Sky going mid, and then. Uh, Donny Boy also going mid, and then Viper on uh, B. Uh, it looks like they're pushing B. Uh, Viper is able to get off that smoke, but he is stunned and put into uh, a swarm, but he somehow manages to survive. Uh, 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 Phoenix, uh, Phoenix is playing up top, and then it looks like... Uh, Looks like Neon and Sky are playing together. Now Sky, now it's just Sky. He's not able to pull off those headshots, but it's okay. Uh, as we lose the round uh, with the against the flawless. Okay, let's see where they go now. Uh, we have uh, Phoenix going to B. Neon also heading to B, but I think they're going mid. Uh, Viper also going B, and then Sova A, and then Sky also A. Um, 
Will they be able to pull off this round? Let's hope so. Uh, Sova pulls off that dart and they see a rain of flash. Uh, Sky goes behind the box and is he able to get off this blinded headshot? He's not, but that's okay. Uh, he got the Viper. Let's go. Uh, you should run. uh the enemy Killjoy uses her uh, turret, uh, or her stun, and then, uh, but. Neon still pushes it anyways. Hopefully he's able to make it out of there. Uh, or at least shoot the thing before it gets him. But he was a little too late. Uh, Phoenix is also flanking around with uh, Neon. Uh, hopefully he's able to pull off the save. Let's go. Neon is out of the grasp of the ult. Uh, it's, it's a 2v4 situation right now. And they both, they all know where they are. Uh... Neon goes down, and then Phoenix goes down, but we were able to get a pick on the Reyna. A bow and arrow is old fashioned. Sometimes old ways are best. We have Viper on A, Sova on A, Neon at mid, and Phoenix and Sky on B. Uh, hopefully they're able to each hold down their sights. Uh, it's very good to have Neon on mid because she can easily run and rotate onto either of the sites if she is needed. Uh, there is a Sova dart mid and it seems that they're all pushing mid, probably to A, uh, possibly. Uh, there was a KO uh, knife on A as well, so hopefully they're able to pull them off and get them. Uh, oh, it looks like they're going to be actually. Uh, Sky goes down, but it's just Viper left. Uh, can Jinx pull this off? Uh, he's going for the flank. Uh, the spike is planted. It's a 1v5 situation. If they can at least get at least just one pick, that would be awesome. But if not, it's whatever. It's fine. It's just a game, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but Jinx has got this in the back they know that he's there they're shooting some warning shots is uh jinx gonna wait out or save uh oh he's pushing uh he the feed he sold the feed right there go to the right uh oh and they're all five picked him at the same time unfortunate but uh Our team's got negative. the current score is zero to six and but maybe the other half will turn it around uh, they are all sitting in their spawn, probably coordinating, uh, deciding where each person is going to go. Uh, it looks like, uh, Wayne is going mid, uh, Viper and Sky are going B, and then Silva and Phoenix are going A. Oh, Phoenix might be rotating, but probably also going mid. Uh, let's see where they are. There's, uh, Noise on A, uh, Johnny Boy shakes his head. He backs up. Oh, he's not able to get the shot. So Great close. Uh, the fade ults onto site. Probably they're all pushing in. Uh, they are getting off that plant. Uh, Phoenix flo throws down his plant to see if he can get some noise there. Uh, but he gets caught with the smoke going down. Unfortunate. Uh, now it's up to Neon, aka Wayne. Uh, in a 1v5 situation, they're all taking turns. He slides in and he dies. Unfortunate. It, look, you can see them in the chat. They're cheering them on. Oh, they're cheering them in. But he's got this. They've they've got this. Seems that Viper and Silver are just kind of looking at each other. They're both going A. Uh, Neon and Sky. Uh, Neon's going B, and then Sky and Phoenix are both pushing mid. But they see Arena mid. Oh no! Are they able to kill her? They are not. Let's see if Sky can pull it off, and he 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 is not. Uh, let's see what Viper does. Uh. Uh. They dinked the Reyna, but they were it was not enough. Uh. The the Neon ults and slides in into death. It is currently 0 to 8. Uh, and you can see that the Phoenix is cheering them on in chat.
We have Viper going A, where will he place his wall? Uh, Neon probably also probably also going A. Phoenix holding mid. Uh, Silva holding the other side of the mid, and then uh, uh, Sky holding A. a. Uh, Phoenix is hit and is getting wall penned. Unfortunate. They're going from mid to A. Let's see if they're able to pull this off. Uh. It's currently a 2v4, uh, it's currently a 1v4, and <laughs> they are mid. Uh, let's see if uh, Aiden is able to get this, get the sneak on them, see if he's able to pull this off. Uh, they're planting Spike on A, it seems like. Uh, Spike planted. He's going through mid, uh, he sees the turret, he breaks the turret, uh, he dogs out. Uh, he goes to mid, uh, and he dies by someone flanking around his back. Unfortunate. That is right. The fight is not over. They're able. They they still have another a whole another half to be able to catch up. Uh, we have Viper playing A, uh, Phoenix playing mid. Sky playing B, Neon playing uh, B as well, and then uh, Sova going mid, uh, going B mid, uh, or A mid. Uh, we hear some noise on mid. Oh, and Phoenix is able to get one pick by rushing in with his ult, uh, but he's able to not get the second one. But he, I'm sure he did some damage. Oh, and there's Viper and Killjoy mid. But he gets uh, double peeked by both of them. Uh, Sky gets triple peeked, uh, unfortunate, and it's left to a uh, uh, a two v four. Donny Boy was able to get uh, one person. No, not one person. Was killed by one person. Um, uh, but and Wayne is heading there with the flank. Uh, he's able to get a Viper. Let's go. Uh, will he be able to pull off another one? He reloads. Let's. He uses his wall uh, and switches out his gun to a pretty skin. Uh, but the KO stuns his abilities, uh, and it sounds like they're pushing him. He gets blinded, uh, but they don't push him, and he's able to get a second. Let's see if he's able to pull this off. He uh, he was he had some shots on the third, but he was able, unfortunately, not able to pull it off. The score is currently zero to ten, uh, and it is by phase. Let's see if they're able to pull pull this one off. Though the enemy team does have a strong lead, and we have zero, uh, we 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 might be able to pull this one off. Let's just see how the round goes. Uh, we have uh, Silva and Phoenix on A, Sky mid. Uh, Viper and Neon on B. Uh, they push B. They don't shoot the Reyna orb, and they unfortunately die. The Reyna heals off of that, uh, and the Phoenix dies. It sounds like they are A, and they push A. Uh, uh, there currently is a gunfight mid between the this, uh, Neon and the KJ. Are they able to rifle it with 20 health? Is, she, is he able to pull this off? Oh, the turret gets him down to 2 HP, and he stuns and runs away. Uh, he runs past the turret, uh, sliding through, going mid. Uh, he stuns again. Will they be able to pull this off? Oh, and they are not. Unfortunately, the KJ got a kill while stunned. Last round in the half. Next round before the swap. Uh, after this, they will they will be attacking. If they lose this round, it will be a zero to twelve, which is uh, on the edge of uh, of losing. So let's hope they're able to really pull through uh, this next half, so they at least have a, a one point start to their to the other side of their. Because it just takes one bad side, uh, one bad round on the other side for them to lose this game if they don't aren't able to pull this off. We have Viper and Sova on A, Phoenix mid. There's noise mid and A. 
uh, it sounds like. But there's also noise B. They're probably defaulting uh, Viper while mid. Uh, Sky gets on a gunfight and uh, is not able to pull off the shots. Uh, well, he's able to pull off one, at least one kill while the Viper ops him. Uh, there's a swarm rain as uh, Jinx goes heaven, but the uh, fade wraps around to also go heaven and kills him. Uh, Phoenix is on the other side of where the bomb is planted. Uh, he's probably gonna full on wrap around. Uh, Viper ulted on side, so he will have to deal with that smoke cloud, which is very tricky to see through. Uh, the enemy KJ also ults. Hope he doesn't get pushed out and get stunned in that. They're all ulting, it seems like. Uh, he has no abilities. No. Uh, isn't able to enter the area. Okay, he can enter the area now. But it sounds like the bomb is getting low. So he at least able to get some picks. And the enemy team is jumping around. Uh, he's still not able to pull off the kills. Uh, the Viper has an off. And unfortunate, ladies and gents. Uh, only one round until the enemy team is able to pull off a win. But there's still uh, at least a little bit of hope. Uh, maybe uh, attacking is their strong side. Let's hope. It seems like we have Sky and Viper pushing on to B, while we have uh, uh, Phoenix pushing mid and uh, Sova and Neon also going mid. Neon has a spike, which is very unconventional for the duelist to have the spike, but maybe that's their strong suit. Uh, let's see what they do. Uh, Johnny Boy Sova darts into the into uh, a hall. Uh, and, uh, oh, Johnny Bond's able to get off the headshot, but unfortunately dies to the, uh, KO. Uh, will, will Neon be able to pull this off? Uh, she runs in. And, uh, there's someone mid. Oh, no. Are they able to get him? They're watching it. They need to plant Smike quick. Hopefully they're able to get it soon. Uh, there's someone behind them. Oh, no. And that is a loss, but that's okay. Uh, uh, with a 0 to 13, it is all GG's in the chat. Special thanks to Lexi for taking care of commentating today. Once again, also, Heritage Chargers, appreciate the fair game you gave us today. Um, awfully close one, if you ask me, but... Uh, we'll slide on over to the end screen as I appreciate you guys coming out. Next up is Red in just 24 minutes. Tune back in then, and we shall see you on the flip side.